Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create another legendary skin Flytrap from Fortnite. This is my third video for this week. I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I have too much time. We started the week with a live stream and I really enjoyed it and I showed you my first steps into this character, into a flight tramp. But what I enjoyed the most was that I had the opportunity to answer questions to you, to you all. They weren't all clay related. You wanted to know how old I am, where I am from, where where I am from, and so on. And um, I think it's really great to, to get closer, to connect, and I think next week there will be another live stream. I don't know yet which day, but I will let you know. But let's create the Flytrap from Fortnite. It's the new legendary skin. And I added some new perspectives to this video that you can also see what it looks like when I'm working on my table. <laughs> we first start with the aluminum wire with the armature. This is pretty much the same as in, in all videos of Fortnite and I always I'm saying the same. But well, now we are mixing the clay and I was not sure about how much blue I should use for this main, <laughs> main color for this skin. So I was very careful. You, you see me um, wrapping, wrapping the clay around the wire. I thought this would be nice to see because normally I skip this process in showing in the tutorial. And I think this color matches the skin of Light Trap quite perfect. Let me tell you, um, when I when I first saw the character, the skin of Light Trap, I didn't really like it very much. It, for me, it looks uh, it looked like some kind of a devil. But when I uh, spent some more time and I read the name Flytrap, <laughs> I knew it was a plant. Plant? Plant. Because for me the Flytrap is one of the most fascinating plants in nature. Well, normally trees and plants are moving very slow and you can't see it with the human eye. But with a Flytrap, which snaps <laughs> When it, when it wants to, to catch a fly, I think this, this is just fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> now, well, let's jump back to the creation. Um, I just finished coating the, the wire with the main color, the base color. Um, and now we will work on the muzzles, on the chest muzzles, for example. Here you see some more bones through the um, skin. I, I still think that this is still a costume, but I'm not sure about that. Well, all of the Fortnite skins are costumes, but this one just looks so real. Well, and Leviathan, I don't think this is a costume because there's a fish, uh, a fish and an aquarium where normally the head would be. So, let's add the thumbs to the hands. I wanted to create the same expression with what the skin was introduced with. And I like this one, the posture, because he, he looks like saying, look at me, <laughs> I'm the flight trap. Yeah, I think you, you, get, you get what I mean. Now, some nail clipping and head clipping. <laughs> and now we are attaching a very thin layer of this green. And now some more details. These are supposed to be the ribs. Yeah. Well, in yesterday's video, I asked you <laughs> to, to tell me um, there was a giveaway. 
a very ugly and boring giveaway, but I asked you to tell me what you would do with this piece of clay and I would announce the winner in today's video. This is what I told you. And so I read all of your comments and there was one comment which I liked the most and I will announce this as the winner. Eduardo Moldanado, you were the first one to mention the memories which are in this piece of clay and I thought uh, this was a really nice comment. So thanks a lot, please get in touch with me and you will receive this piece of clay. <laughs> now we will work on all the plant details. This is somehow the, the thorns of the fly trap right at the shoulders. So this actually is a shoulder pad. It also looks very similar to the tendril, to the harvesting tool, the axe. Somehow I did manage to, to, to create it as well. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, if one of the creations of one of the skins is too complicated like this one, Normally I'm just happy I finally managed somehow to finish this piece, this piece of clay, the skin. And I don't have that much of energy left to create the tendril, for example, the harvesting tool. But some of the skins I already have created, like the, the Bright Gunner or the Red Knight, were not that complicated, so I decided to also create the X as well. Now we are working on the pattern on the back side. First I thought about creating the red part or coloring these patterns with clay, but that would have been pretty difficult. If you are going to create this one, you can go with a very thin layer of red clay, but I used acrylic paint, red acrylic paint after oven hardening. And this was way more easy. <laughs> now, my clay extruder. You know this one from my shopping cart tutorial from yesterday. And it's pretty... No, it's, it's not a great tool, but it's sometimes it's very useful if you need a lot of strings. Um, all these tiny worms can also be made with your hands. So um, I will link it in the description if you want to buy this one, but you don't really need it if you want to create all my creations. Now we are working on all the veins and there is a base layer of the veins, red ones, which I'm adding right now. And after that we will put another layer of veins. Um, well, I guess these are supposed to be roots because it is a plant. <laughs> now this is bright green, I think it's called apple green. And we will use it for all the roots, just cleaning the clay extruder and we are filling in the green clay in order to create many, many, many roots. And it looks just fascinating when the clay gets out <laughs> of the tiny hole. Yeah, here we go. I have some really exciting news, really exciting news to share with you. And I haven't talked about it in any of my videos. I'm going to be a father again. Yes, my wife is pre uh, pregnant, pretty pregnant right now. And we are waiting <laughs> for the big moment. Maybe it's two more weeks. Maybe it's three more weeks. I have no idea. Um, this is no apology for not creating that much videos in the future. But I think my frequency in creating content will suffer in some way. Because having a baby can be quite challenging. But we did it <laughs> before, me and my, my wife. Our first son is turning three in two weeks. 
so maybe the baby is even coming on the same day <laughs> I really hope it's not because well um, celebrating birthday is one of the greatest things in childhood and when I think about it if my brother would have on the same day birthday with me I think it would have been quite different than it had been my parents always created a very special day for me and also for my brother on each days on our birthdays and I think it would have been quite different if both our our birthdays would have been on the same day but maybe some of you have siblings who are celebrating birthday on this on the same day so please let me know I'm I'm quite curious um, would you prefer celebrating by yourself on one day or is it just great to celebrate together and inviting all friends to one big party birthday party so just let me know I'm really curious about that meanwhile we are creating the eyes and we already finished this um, there is yellow instead of the iris well this is the iris and some green for the eyebrows and that's it for different colors other than red for the head this bright green will be for the blossom which is also the trap the fly trap which is you know what i mean it's it's closing when there is a fly inside and um, it contains out of two pieces i'm creating with a very thin layer of bright green clay and this one was quite difficult i didn't show you but this was my second attempt to create this blossom this flytrap blossom and now after getting it into shape we will add some red to the sides there are four stripes for each side as decoration well, removing some of the green clay get some space for the ears and this is the beard the fly trap beard and now the thorns on the blossom of the fly trap that would be funny if you could use this in fortnite as a weapon so that your head uh, would have another special attack to turn down enemies now we can put this thing into the oven freshly baked fly trap from fortnite <laughs> all we have to do right now is use some acrylic paint i mentioned it before i'm just mixing the right red color which is matching the clay the clay red color and I'm painting all the the pattern on the chest and later we will also paint the pattern uh, on the back and also on the legs this was really challenging because I didn't have a very thin um, brush for that so there are also acrylic pens maybe this would have been the better choice but somehow i think it turned out okay it's it's not that clean but it works this is the last working step i'm using some more green acrylic paint for the thorns on the blossom of the fly trap head because I wanted to create a tiny tiny color gradient and I think it looks really nice okay this was the last working step and I guess that's it the flight trap I hope you enjoyed this tutorial <laughs> as always leave me in the comments what you think well this palm is quite strange somehow it moved <gasps> no no help me help me it's a fly trap it's a clay creator trap no <laughs> no not all the dirt